On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson came up from the Negro Leagues to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers to revolutionize baseball. In the Negro Leagues, he was a star and stood out and loved his favorite position shortstop. While on the Dodgers, he received many tragic racial slurs and death threats, but he had to triumph over them. His integration into Major League Baseball inspired other black players like Hank Aaron and Joe Black to play, and many did because of him. Jackie Roosevelt Robinson was born in Curio, Georgia on January 31st, 1919. He was the youngest of his family, oh, no, and he had four so siblings. There, there was Mac, Edgar, Lula, and Frank. His mother was Mally, and his father was Jerry. But one day after his mom, Mally tried to persuade her husband to go sharecrop, to go as a sharecropper. He just left the family in rage when Jackie wasn't even one year old. Don't forget, at this time in the world, there was a lot of hate towards blacks. For example, when Jackie was eight, a white girl made fun of him for being black, and they got into a rock throwing play. As young as a young boy, he would even go to school and excel school in football. He was very athletic person. Even his big brother was good at football and basketball. You're going to be a great player, kid. Mackie, Mick, Mickey Mantle. In college, he went to Pasadena Junior College. He made his baseball team and was considered a strong hitter and a great shortstop. Then, Robinson went to the Army. Well, he never did see battle in World War II. He fought a lot for civil rights back at home. He was drafted into the Negro Leagues after that and was an outstanding player. He performed well in the Negro Leagues with the Kansas City Monarchs. He always would dream about playing in the professional teams with the white players. He was the best in his league and his stats were great. Soon, Brooklyn Dodgers sports executive Branch Rickey saw him play and knew he was the one to play in the MLB and break the baseball's color barrier. He gave the black community a sense of hope and a sense of pride, John Lewis. On April 11th, Robinson showed up at Dodgers Clubhouse and he made history being the first African American over in the MLB. In his series, he went 6 and 14 at bats. I'm not concerned with you or liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. Jackie Robinson. On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson played in Dodgers Stadium for the first time being 28 years old. He was jersey number 42. Besides the club fielding school, Robinson was also an exceptionally, exceptionally talented and disciplined hitter, with a career average of 3.311. Many players have referred to Jackie Robinson as the most aggressive, intelligent, and successful baseball runner of his era. Jackie Robinson made his country, and you and me, and all of us, shade more food. Becoming the first African-American player in the major leagues, Jackie hit his first career home run on April 18, 1947, short after he was signed. In the career, he had 137 home runs after that and was a big hitter with many awards. In defense, he played shortstop, first base, and second base. Jackie was also very fast with 197 stolen bases and 19 steals home. I want to think of one of the two with at least 125 steals with a slugging percentage over 4 to 3 blocks. Jackie was the league MVP in 1949 and was the rookie of the year in 1947. While at, in the Dodgers, had played in six World Series. He would get racial insults after insult and had to ignore them to stay on the team. Robinson was on a 21 game hitting streak. In his career and almost was elected to the All-Star Game with 300,000 votes. Robinson even played in the World Series against the New York Yankees, but sadly lost the game 5 7 2. Jackie Robinson's last appearance in baseball was on October 10, 1956. He was retiring with the Brooklyn Dodgers. He had a total of 16 awards and recognition in his career. He became a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame as well. Baseball is like a poker game. Nobody wants you to quit when he's losing. Nobody wants you to quit when you're ahead. Jackie Robinson. He ended his career with over 100 home runs and an above all batting average at his time. After his retirement, he became an advocate in civil rights and a member of the NAACP. The greatest moment in baseball history was Jackie Robinson, Robert Manfred. After just 10 years of playing for the Dodgers and at age 38, he hung up his jersey. 
After only five years of the color barrier being broken, rookie named Joe Bluff joined the team, and he had played in the Negro Leagues as well as Robert. For six straight years, Jackie Robinson was voted into the All-Star game, but not in 55. Now, there were 40 player, black players in the MLB, and they all said it's thanks to Robinson and how he signed the deal with Branch Ring. In his career, he had 1,518 runs, 273 doubles, and 54 triples. Jackie did develop some serious health problems and had diabetes after he quit baseball. So Jackie's character was much more important than his batting average. Hank Aaron. On June 4th, 1972, the Dodgers retired his uniform number 42, and Jackie Robinson Day was made, and it was when the MLB celebrates and honors Jackie Robinson because of how brave he was born into the MLB as the first ever African American. Many more African black players were rushing into the MLB, and everybody said it was because of Robinson inspired them. Jackie Robinson as an athlete and someone who was trying to make a stand for equality. He was exemplary. A life is not important except in the impact of others' lives. Jackie Robinson.